ULA's Vulcan rocket launches historic mission, debut flight includes private U.S. moon lander and human remains. Cape Canaveral, Florida, in a reminiscent nod to the Apollo era, United Launch Alliance's Vulcan Centaur made history with its inaugural flight, propelling the Astrobotics Peregrine moon lander on the CERT-1 mission. The 202-foot-tall Vulcan lifted off at 218A, MEST from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Powered by two solid rocket boosters and two Blue Origin-built BE-4 first-stage engines, the Vulcan generated almost 2 million pounds of thrust. On board the Peregrine were 20 diverse customer payloads, including five NASA science instruments. As the rocket ascended, a pillar of exhaust followed its trajectory. Two minutes post-liftoff, the SRB separated, allowing Vulcan's first stage booster to continue its journey. Approximately five minutes later, the first stage disengaged from the Centaur upper stage, initiating a sequence of burns culminating in the release of Peregrine 50.5 minutes after launch. United Launch Alliance's president and CEO Tori Bruno expressed jubilation, declaring, so far, this has been an absolutely beautiful mission back to the moon. If Peregrine accomplishes a successful landing next month, it will become the first American spacecraft on the moon since Apollo 17 in 1972 and potentially the first private mission to touch down. This lunar race includes Houston-based Intuitive Machines, whose Nova Sea lander might land a day earlier than Peregrine. Both missions are pivotal for NASA, with Peregrine fulfilling the agency's commercial lunar payload services initiative, setting the stage for a new era of lunar exploration. Joel Kearns, Deputy Associate Administrator for Exploration at NASA's Science Mission Directorate, emphasized the significance, stating, it's a totally new way of doing business, and the Peregrine mission is going to be our first data of how it's gonna go. NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services contracts hold promise for the Artemis program, aiming to land astronauts on the moon by 2025 or 2026 and establish a base in the lunar south pole. Kearns emphasized the importance of creating a lunar ecosystem and utilizing industry expertise to focus NASA on cutting-edge research and development. The five scientific payloads aboard Peregrine, contracted through Commercial Lunar Payload Services, will study the lunar environment after landing, paving the way for future Artemis missions and the establishment of a lunar base.